spiritual interpretation yet. He have not gave you that spiritual law yet because you still got hate in your body, in your system, in your soul. Read. In my thoughts, then your thoughts. In what? In my thoughts, then your thoughts. In, your, in his thoughts, then your thoughts. So stop thinking that you can go and, and read this Bible and think that you can read it uh, a call and think that's what the most high think because that ain't what he thinking sisters and brothers now this plan is going to be broken down in a whole bunch of precepts so please please sisters and brothers bring your pens and pads because we're not playing no more games on these brothers and sisters out here thinking that they can read mo the most high word and think that shut up all praises glory and honor to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakadash Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings to your sincere Akim out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. All right, and um, this is an example of uh, an oil leak. Uh, man, I, I believe it was them who also said that it wasn't a literal sea uh, that uh, Moses and Israel went through. If I'm not mistaken, you know, they've erred a few times and uh, they were rebuked and uh, they never received uh, correction from the elders. And now you see, you know, these guys are, are bugged out. And that's why it's important to always keep your ears open for, for from your elders, all right, true elders. Right? And if you could receive it, the true elders of all Israel. All right, and we're not here to, to um, you know, glorify another man, but it's just true. All right, and this has been broken down many times in many ways over many years. If you haven't got it by now, I mean, damn. You know, you could you could just deduce, you know, and this is part of having, you know, the Holy Spirit, man, because the Holy Spirit said it, it will flee someone that lacks discipline. You know, it's, it takes it, it takes receiving that discipline for you to keep the Holy Spirit. Right? That's the that's the path that the Lord has us on, man. You know, sometimes it could be hard. Sometimes it could get a little rocky and be frustrating. But this is the path that the Lord has put us on to put us through this fire for us to uh, come into our, our our final form. I right, to shed off a lot of the bullshit that the world has uh, tacked on you. And you have a lot of Israelites who've tried to buck that and tried to, I'm, I'm the I'm the guy, I'm the, you know. Sakari did the same thing. And they still err in certain scriptures too. Hell, shit, ISUPK, IUIC, you guys did it too. In a, in a, in a, in a way. Uh, you, you didn't acknowledge, you know, the men who came before you. And that's a part of the priesthood, man. You can't buck the order that the Lord set up. All right, when there's many scriptures you could prove that that, that uh, Esau is 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 the so-called white man. Right, first off, the description of Esau, Genesis 25, 25, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his so he came out red. Right, he's the, when you go into Revelation, which maybe I'm jumping past a lot of stuff, but it talks about a red horse with a sword. The whole earth is quiet before him, meaning they take over the world. Uh, the red dragon, which was a representation of the Roman Empire, right? They actually used that dragon. Right, the the one the the was it the 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 head that is. Right, during the time that John was seeing the prophecy, one of those heads, one of those uh, governments that it tells you, right, Rome, and then all the other houses of Esau too for the other heads. <laughs> it tells you, because you know we're the, we're the Israelites, right? And we know who our enemy is. But it tells you we're going to be found in the hands of our enemies. Right? Jacob and Israel 
are in captivity together. We haven't been in captivity together since Egypt. Well, since, matter of fact, excuse me, since we were in Babylon and they were in Assyria. So let's see, Babylon, Persia. Yeah, so since since Egypt. Then it tells you what? We're going to be found at the... Because that's another clue too. Where we're going to be found. If we're in captivity and the, the Lord wakens us up in the, in the end, latter days with the Holy Spirit in the land of our captivity, a.k.a. the land of the north, it says what? The earth is given to the hand of the wicked all right, the, the people, the, the border of wickedness. They call the lands by their own name. Like, come on, man. Come on. And uh, this, this lesson is really for the congregation. Really, this is for the congregation. This is for, for the believers, those who believe and still possess the oil. You know what I'm saying? We want to pray that the Lord takes not the Holy Spirit from us because he will have you bugged out online saying some bullshit. And then, you know, sometimes, you know, we make mistakes or something. You might have a slip in your speech, but the spirit even tells you, like, hey, you know, um, double check that. Let me make sure, you know, that's the, that's, that's, you know, that's what it means to have the Holy Spirit, to have that understanding. All right, Proverbs 4 and 11, I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in right paths. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened. And when thou runnest, thou shall not stumble. And that's what we pray. We pray not to stumble. We've been led in the right paths. Our eyes have seen our teachers, right? Through thy precepts, I get understanding. We've read through our role and are continuing to read through the role. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. And we want to be rooted especially in the times to come. Because you have a lot of Israelites, a lot of wicked men in Israel are about to receive great judgments. You know, this whole, of course, the whole world is about to receive great judgments, but you wicked Israelites, you're going to be judged with the whole world. Right? Harlots and publicans are going to go before a lot of you Israelites who are wicked. You know you're going off. You know you're on some bullshit. Well, shit, maybe you don't. The blind lead the blind. All right, but it says what? Enter not into the path of wicked, of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. All right, evil men have not understanding. It says what? Evil men shall, shall wax worse and worse. You know, hey, even a, a man of the Lord, he might slip, but it says what? He's going to get back up. It said the wicked is going to fall into mischief. All right, it's very important, man, to appreciate the knowledge that we have. I don't want to get too puffed up. Remember, hey, Hey, wisdom and knowledge, it's the Lord, man, who quickens our understanding. Wisdom and knowledge have become just in, in, in surplus. You know, even though this whole world is failing, this whole world is falling, all right, they're all going broke. <laughs> Their dreams are, uh, with us, shit, our, our dreams are, are becoming closer and closer. All right, we understand that his kingdom has to fall. These things have to happen. For, for our kingdom to, to go up. And we're, we're, we have the the uh, the principles. We have the foundation, man. We have the fountain of, of, of life. All right. Enter not in uh, 15. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it and pass away. For they sleep not except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. 
for they eat of bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is as the shining light they, that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. Exactly. That's our path. The, the way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. If you notice, it keeps telling you to listen. All right, wisdom and knowledge puffeth up. Don't forget. My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. And that's a mentality you have to maintain all throughout this uh, and, and to the end. All right, this is, this is, these are principles of wisdom. You have to incline your ear. So rock 5 and 10, be steadfast in thy understanding and let thy word be the same. All right, so be steadfast in what you know. What you know shouldn't, it shouldn't, it shouldn't change. We're not double-minded. Esau is still who he is. And that's why the, uh, the the milk is so important. A lot of people, they learn the milk and they try to skip past it. To, well, I want to know the, the, the hidden secrets of the universe. And the, look, what's the name of the Lord? What's the Father's name? What's the Son's name? Who is Esau? For you to, you know, be in the know for for so long, you should know these things, these these basic things. Be able to prove them. Right? When you think about them in your mind, everything should flow together. If you in your mind are talking about, well, that's the no, he's no he's all right, the white man. Well, guess what? You got a whole nother captivity go, to go through there. <laughs> Hey man, it's Japheth. Guess what? You got to go through a whole nother captivity. Harder captivity too. Under the, the, the vilest and most base of men. This was nothing. Are you crazy? <laughs> Alright, hey. And this is just this is just what happens though, man. Jake, Jake, um, man. This is why it's, it's important to listen. I've seen a lot of people who know a lot of precepts. They had a lot of information, a lot of knowledge. I watched a hundred episodes with Alex Jones and blah, 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 blah. And then the Lord will bug you out because you go away from the principles that you learn. Which you already weighed in your mind and understood were true. And the understanding is taken away from you. Right? Ultimately, it, it's Jake. Um, um, just allowing Satan to run rampant in their mind. All right, hey, because a lot of things, hey, the heart is deceitful. A lot of things pop across your mind, whatever. But you have to have the discipline to weigh what what is good and what is not. All right, and, and that's what it means when the scriptures talk about having your senses exercised. All right, so rock four and I'm going to get right to the point. Let's talk about wisdom. 13. All right, you got to hold on. He that holdeth her fast shall inherit glory. You can't let it slip away. And wheresoever she entereth, the Lord will bless they that serve her shall minister to the Holy One. And them that love her, the Lord doth love. And that's what we're seeking, man. We're seeking the love of the Lord by telling the truth. Bringing out the truth and, and feeding his sheep with the right food. Giving them that, that, that good milk. The shit that this guy is talking about. and just, even Just the spirit is like, nah, man. This ain't it. Whosoever giveth ear unto her shall judge the nations, and he that attendeth unto her shall dwell securely. All 
If a man, the elect is going to rule over the whole earth. And it's going to be a lot revealed. All, right? All of the secrets, great secrets of the universe. And this, but Esau being so-called white man, which you can actually trace, you know, Alexander, King Agag, who is the king of the Amalekites, which is the head house of Esau. Like, come on, man. If a man commit himself unto her, he shall inherit her, and his generation shall hold her in possession. For at first, at the first, she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him. All right? The fear of the Lord has to be in you. That's what I notice about a lot of Israelites. They lose the fear of the Lord. They stop listening. They start just saying anything out of their heart, which doesn't come out of the scriptures. And then the Lord starts to take that oil away. They become rebellious. All right, don't, don't, don't follow after that bad example. Crooked ways. All right, the Lord is not just going to give you everything and, and not try you. Try your spirit. It says you're going to judge the earth. Judge the nations, right? Which is the same thing. Judge the nations and judge the whole earth. So if you're going to judge over them, come on, man. You think the Lord is going to put a false judge up? <laughs> a false judge is an abomination. A false balance is an abomination. That's what the Lord is doing, man. He's giving us that balance. Giving us the understanding. All right, and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline. Right, your thoughts have to be disciplined. And this is something I pray every day, man. May the Lord continue to discipline me, make me more disciplined. Until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. So you're going to be tried. And the Lord is going to weed out the wicked from the righteous. Then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets. But if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. So this is a dangerous path, man. It's dangerous to pick this book up and perfect, you know, to, to, to profess yourself as a prophet. You know, the prophets have something to say. The prophets, they, they speak on behalf of the Heavenly Father. So, Lord willing, this is edifying. You know, let us continue to uh, preach the, the true and correct doctrine and go in the ways of righteousness. Shalom.